I hate her. guys, it's Shelby. So today I want to get on here and share with you guys a first impression. So this is going to be the first time that I try the Wet n Wild Foundation, their new Dewy Foundation. So uh, this nail is messed up, so don't just ignore that. But I think it is going to be too dark for me. I definitely shouldn't have picked my shade online. I'm very bad at that. I'm bad in general with shades. But I got Light Medium, which is Buff Bisque. Um, so... This is definitely my first time using this, so I don't know if it's... Oh, nope. Definitely not a pump. Definitely not a pump. Okay, so it's just like their other one. It's a spatula, so I am super excited. So I'm going to prep with the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. And I'm also going to be trying out a blusher they came out with, um, a blush highlight, and I have a couple different lipsticks I can try, but yeah. So I'm just going to put this on the face. I just like the smell of this. Does it do anything for my face? Don't know. And if you're curious what lashes I'm wearing, they're these from Dollar Tree. They're the Dramatic, dramatic Wispy, no, Wispy Natural Medium. So I just cut off like a bunch of the ends because my eyes aren't as big as what they come in. And this one I put too far in, this one I put too far out. But I'm pretty sure you've already noticed that. But I am just going to slap this on my face. I dropped my mirror. Okay, I'm going to take my favorite brush at the moment, which is this BoxyCharm brush we got in one of our BoxyCharms. And maybe I got too light of a shade, which is... I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Smells not as bad as the original. I'll like say that right now. The original smells so bad. I do have the original in my drawer and I have it in like a super dark shade as well. Yeah, I think this is not my shade. Look at my big mirror over here. Yeah, it's way too dark for me. So, here's without, here's with. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna go this way. They do have pretty dry skin, so I was super excited when they came out with this. And I don't care if I'm putting a lot on, judge me. I'm just going to go to Whataburger after this because why not to get me a burger? I'm just going to blend it down because I'm pretty pale actually. So definitely will probably buy a different shade if I end up liking this because this is just not for me. <laughs> it's too dark. I can totally tell it's just way too dark. Oops, I think I got on my shirt. Look at this. <laughs> Again, my big mirror is over here. Uh, and I am doing this at like stupid late at night. My son is with my parents tonight. So I could actually film a video. Yeah, this is just way too dark, but I like how it looks. I actually don't know if this is going to be a first impressions or just to get ready with me, so. Wow. It is pretty luminous. I'm going to build it up a little bit more over here, though. Just because I have a little bit of acne, if you can't tell. Oh, that was a little too much. Mm-hmm. Awkward. Mm 
So my husband's going to be gone for like a week for training again. And honestly, like I'm just not having it. So. Sad. We'll see how my son deals with it. I'm pretty sure he's going to be really sad. I wonder where his dad is. Because you know he's not even two yet. So he's not going to understand. The last time my husband was gone. I think Aiden was like a few months old. Uh, my husband does have a dog. So a lot of the time he is gone for his dog. So. And if you can't tell my husband's a police officer. I have my little support shirt on. I think this is from Grunt Style. All. I think. I'll link it down below. I got it off Amazon. It was like super inexpensive. If you are a cop wife or you have someone who's a cop or if you're a cop yourself. Police officer, whatever you want to call yourselves. Okay, I actually really like this. Wow. Cool. Cool. Definitely not a shade. Uh, let's just ignore that. I will do some self tanning or something if I really want to wear this. It is 12.06. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't even know if I have a concealer dark enough to do this. Because all of my concealers are pasty white. Because I'm a pasty white gal. So... This is the darkest one I have, which is from Milani. It's in like vanilla. It's in light vanilla. I don't think this is going to work out, friends. I really like this nail polish, by the way. I just picked it up today from Sally's. Because, you know, when your husband's about to leave, you just go on a shopping spree because you're sad. I'm just kidding. I'll use anything as an excuse to go shopping. Literally. I don't have a cat or an animal. I mean, my husband has his, like, dog or whatever. But I would be like, oh, my cat got sick. Gotta go shopping. That's, like, the type of person I am. I'm a very yes person too. You definitely don't want to be friends with me because I'll be like, yes, girl, get it. You could die tomorrow. And then like, they're like, I don't know why I listen to you. And I'm like, me either, but you did. So that's your fault. So I'm fair warning all of you now, if we ever become friends in real life or if we're already friends, but we're not like super close, or maybe if you need a yes person, I am your yes person. Like, mm -hmm, yeah, no, you definitely need that. Even though you have 15 other mugs at the house, you need that mug. I'm that person. You already have like 13 bags. You see a bag you want, you need that bag. That's me. That is so me. And it's such a bad like habit. It really is. So. I think that worked out just fine. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild, uh, Photofocus powder and I'm using a Sigma brush that I got from like TJ Maxx forever ago. I'm just going to pat some powder under my eye. And now it's like covering my lashes. So. I'm just going to take the excess and just like all over the face. I normally don't do this, but I washed my brushes last night and I'm not going to get a new powder brush dirty. I'm just too lazy for that girl. Too lazy. So my lashes are falling off. Um, butter bronzer. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Oh yeah, I don't have my bronzer brush washed. It's not opening. Like, what the hello? It's broken. No, it's not. I'm just dumb. Um. Mm. 
Y'all, I'm going to take this little contour brush from Wet n Wild. Swirl her in there. Grab my mirror. I'm gonna throw it everywhere, like I'm not. I put too much on my forehead, but it's okay. pretty much using the camera lens mirror thing because I'm playing with this Milani palette. That's what I have on my eyes today. Um, oh yeah, new product. Totally forgot where I was going with this. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Pinch Me Pink. And I guess they've redone their Wet n Wild blushes and they come in like this packaging now. So how cute. I have not opened it, have not swatched it, have not nothing. I'm hella excited. Okay. I actually like the rounder pack. Oh, I like the round packaging. Looks very cute, sleek. Uh, if you don't know what the old packaging looks like, it looks like this and the one before that was kind of similar to this one, except like it was all clear. There was no black. And then there was like a little part for a brush. Did these come with brushes? Yes, these came with brushes too. Um, I have a lot of those, um, and I did have the original ones too. I only had two colors, I think, or maybe all of them. I can't remember. But this one is in Pinch Me Pink, and I definitely don't have this one, so I don't know if it's a new color or if it's just new formula or new what. But anyways, that's what we're using today. Um, and I like to apply my blush with a Wet n Wild stippling brush. It's the large stippling brush from their, like, white line. And I'm definitely going to, like, swatch this first. It's... It's almost like there's nothing. What the hello? Okay. It's non-existent is what's happening. So I'm like really digging in my brush. Because the other ones you just barely touch it and it's like a ton of pigment. What the F? Maybe it's just so light. Maybe it's for like really like light skin gals. But like maybe it's because I have a dark foundation on. I can like kind of see it. But like this is nowhere near as pigmented as their other blushes. Like I'm really digging in this. As opposed to... This one is called Fantastic Plastic Pink. Definitely different, but watch this. Barely a swipe. Do you see the difference? And I feel a difference in these two. I uh, love the packaging, but I think I hate the product. Ugh. Whatever. Moving on, I'm going to... Just... Oh, wow, that was... Really hoping for your regular blush. This is shenanigans. Shenanigans, shenanigans. Okay, I don't even know how to speak in English there. This is the highlight bling. It's the Halo Highlight Blush Lighter. So it looks like it has a blush and a highlighter, or you can use them together. But this one isn't Halo Bling. I wanted this one that had sex in it. But then I was like, no. Better not, because I didn't really want to mention that on my channel. But then I was like, um... I'm an adult. I can say sex on my channel if I want to. Um, I'm 25 years old. Like, if I can't say that word at all, then that's just a little odd. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is a pain. 
paint them. Arse. Okay. So this is what the product looks like. And the highlighter and like a little. I'm going to use this as a blush topper. And I'm going to just grab a different freaking brush. Because this is kind of slim. I'm going to grab this Real Techniques. And just like kind of. I want to see what this looks like first. What in the wild? Like what have you done sweetheart? Can you see that on me? Alright well. I'm really digging in this, hoping I get some kind of pigment, to be quite honest. And I'm just using it as a blush topper. Okay. With a highlight, it's perfectly fine. But this blush and blush topper were just... Accentuates the pores. But like... Do you even really see blush on me? Whatever. I'm gonna take the highlight portion with my favorite highlighting brush, which is the Wet n Wild Pro Line highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna dip into this one right here. I really love their regular Mega Glow or whatever they're called. Hoping I like this. Oh yeah. Hello, beautiful. Who needs blush when you got a highlighter like this? I'm also like someone who goes highlighter crazy, so if you don't like that, you can just like exit right out because I don't give a damn. Hmm. Definitely, I'm not one to go for like that um now i'm gonna take that this brush and just kind of like go like this hmm all right now that i got that on i'm gonna go ahead with the uh, mega whatever slim mascara from Wet n Wild. I just read the word and I still went blank. I'm just put on my bottom lash line. I'm not gonna put eyeshadow down there just because I'm not feeling it right now. I hope you guys can't hear our like 80 year old dryer in the background. Like I swear to god, like it sounds like a freight train. Just saying. Uh, I know I probably should put like eyeshadow down here but I just don't really feel like it um so now moving on to lips uh they did redo their mega last like lip colors that are in like tubes um so I did get quite a few different colors I just cannot talk today uh I got bear it all which I do have the other mega last in this um but I like the packaging of these like look how cute so these are the matte ones and then these are the glossy ones and I got this one in pinky ring Super cute. And then this last one I got is in Skin Dipping. But I think I'm going to go with Pinky Ring. They're all just this is too nude for me right now. Or I may just want to put that on. We'll see. Oh. That's what it looks like. So let's see. I may do a mixture of both. We'll just kind of wing it. Wow, really glossy. Really, really glossy. I don't know if I would necessarily wear this all the time. Like, y'all, it's like melting like butter. Like, it is so soft. Very nice product. It's like kind of slipping all over my lips though. But I really like it. I 
what do you guys think like too hot pink i'm thinking a little too hot pink definitely a summertime like lippy i'm gonna go ahead and try the other two lippies on i'm gonna put on the skin dipping because i'm intrigued by this one That one's pretty. That one's skin dipping. Oh, definitely matte. Definitely a matte, but I like it. I like that color like looking far away. Okay, this may be my new favorite freaking lipstick, like, ever. Oh, shoot. Let me just ruin it. They're a little bit messy, just like the other one, because they don't go, like, all the way down. Wow, I love this color. I love this color. It's so cute. You guys comment down below which one's your favorite. So far, this one is mine. All right, I just removed that skinny dipping. Now I have to find Bare It All. I just had it in my hand, but girl, I done lost it, damn it. I mean, dang it. Oh, that one just ripped right off. And this one is Bare It All. And I'm seeing, like, bumps in this one, which, like, whatever. Hello, Jaclyn Hill. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. This one's not as dry. The other one was definitely pretty dry. I feel like I look like a clown with this one on. Anyone else think that? What do you guys think? Mm. I don't think so. I just, I don't think so right now. Me and her, we just, we ain't vibing. We're not vibing. We're not, we're not together. Let me take that back off because I don't like it. I don't like it at all. At least not with this look. You know, with the whole, I have blush on but don't have blush on look. Maybe it's the color I got. If you guys got a different color in the blush and it works just fine, I just kicked this. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but if you got a different color and it worked better, please let me know down below because that blush is crap. Take it from me. Don't buy that one. Just don't. What I will say is the foundation and this lip color, buy it. Buy it, sister. Because I like it. I really like it. My lips are definitely, like, irritated. So, that is that. But yeah, this is probably my favorite color. Um, so let's go through this shenanigans again. Lippies, awesome. Just not a huge fan of Bare All right now. Um, I wasn't like a huge fan of the original either. I just felt like it washed me out. Um, let's talk about the foundation. I think she looks good. I definitely will check back in with you guys. No, I'm not going to check in with you guys. I'm just going to do first impressions. I think it looks cute. You guys let me know. Definitely too dark for me. If you can't tell. So don't be dumb like me and order the wrong shade. Um, if these come in store, I'm definitely going to pick up a lighter shade. Or I can mix it with one of my other foundations that are luminous. Um, it is what it is. This is great as a highlight. Not really a blush topper thing. Just use it as a highlighter. That's all I'm going to say. Especially that one. Um, the blush. Where'd she go? I hate her. She's done. We are, we're not friends. We are not together. We are done. 
that blush in me just no like i love wet and wild but that shit was bad do not buy that i'm just gonna be upfront and honest like i'm tired of being like oh well you know for some people like no i'm going to be honest i'm going to be brutally honest do not waste your money on that pinch me pink blush go get you a different shade or find the original blushes and buy those because they are not shit so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i wasn't too vulgar but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye